some fun today. we got a big show planned for everybody. And right now, it's something that you like to do around the house. You like to do a little floral arranging. Yeah. We've got some people around that are going to talk about how you can pull some of your outside uh, stuff in your house and put it into your floral arrangements. Are you ready? Yep, let's go. All right, let's go check it out. So we've got uh, we've got Pam and Carmia. Carmia, and you guys are with Craft Lake City. Craft Lake City, and you guys have an event coming up. We do. So on March 20th, we'll be participating in a statewide event called Love Utah, Give Utah, and it's a statewide fundraiser for people to donate to nonprofit organizations that they love and that they want to support and see continue to grow. And Craft Lake City is a 501c3 nonprofit, so we'll be participating in that. Um, big event on All March right. 20th. Now let's do talk about the flowers. I'm going to have you flip yep, up with my wife later and get in there. <laughs> what are the flowers you brought? We've got all of the beautiful spring flowers that are just coming on now, coming from Holland, all of these bulb flowers that smell so heavenly. First you have to smell this hyacinth. Oh, um, That is awesome. Heavenly. <laughs> yes. So hyacinth, tulips, daffodils, and then we'll be working with a lot of blooming branches, the fruit branches that will start coming on in March. This is a cherry. Behind you, we have the willow and quince. What's the so, number one rule in flower or floral arranging? Processing. Proper processing to make sure that everything is in water and cut properly, and that helps them last the longest so that you get the most enjoyment out now, of it. Now, I've often heard that you could cut in a diagonal so it gives more space for it to absorb water. You could throw some Sprite or aspirin in that. Are all those good things or bad things? Those are good. Cutting out a diagonal, mm -hmm. you have more surface area for the flower to drink, so that's good. All You're right, good. so let's get my wife in there you know and get so her hands much. on. I know, right? <laughs> I know. Okay, so I gonna... love all these, the just simple kind of modern vases that you put them in. Thank you. Yeah, it's good to kind of mix it up, a little bit of vintage, a little so bit of modern. So let's start with the centerpiece. Yeah. Would it be this right here? What we're going to do first is I'm going to show you how you can take just a simple blooming branch. Okay. So we're going to get a little bit of this out you for you. You should probably make sure the branch is on your property if you're going to cut it off, though, right? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go hedging around. Yeah. You know? Okay, so I'm going to cut this for you. Just one. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> you're fine. Hook your eye off. She's got another eye. I know. Okay, I'll let you do the second okay. one. Just cut it at the height that you'd like. And when uh, you guys are having your big event, can people come down and participate and do their own floral arranging? So how it works with Love, Give U Love Utah, Give Utah, if you donate $50 on March 20th, uh -huh. um, um, it, if you would like to participate in the floral arranging workshop, we'll be ho hosting that on March 22nd, so oh. just the Saturday after. And then you'll be hosting that where? Uh, that is at Enzyme Floral. Okay. Um, and so Pam will be coming out and um, teaching the workshop. It's open to um, 60 participants, so um, we're hoping to get, you know, in conjunction with the donations, also registration, just to show people how wonderful. Um, floral arranging can be and just the craft and art behind it. All right. So now, this you... is really cool. She is cutting the bloom off and actually taping it. Is that tape? This is called a glue dot. It is a very handy tool that florists use. What we're doing is um, just making kind of a more Asian, kind of fun, modern arrangement. Really simple. This is really fun for a party. So you take dendrobium orchid blossoms and just affix them to the plum branch. I love that. You can do this really beautiful, simple arrangement. Maybe add some grasses. And so then now, how done. long will that last? Will it? These are very quick? hardy. No, orchid blossoms are actually hardier than than their reputation. So Perfect. it will last days. All right. Well, it looks cool. beautiful. And if people want more information about the event, where do they go? They can go to CraftLakeCity.com. All right. Simple as that. And you don't want to stick around. Here's what's coming up next. On